Hi, my name's Dave Sowers. I'm the head of Ram Commercial Vehicle Marketing. We're proud to have this 5500 chassis cab representing the City of LA Fire Department. There's a couple of reasons why we're very proud to have this vehicle on display at the Los Angeles Auto Show. The first being it gives us an opportunity to recognize the first responders of the City of LA and we know how important they are in every city and particularly here in LA. But it serves another purpose for us as well and that's to show how vehicles that we make can meet very important needs in the marketplace. And the needs that commercial customers in general have are amplified when you talk about emergency response vehicles like the one behind me. This particular vehicle is a rescue squad vehicle uh, or an ambulance, and it's needed for particularly uh, particular situations where capability is a big deal. So let's talk a little bit about the specifics of this vehicle and the upfit that are on it. We start with a Ram 5500 chassis cab, which is a very capable vehicle in and of itself. This one is equipped with a Cummins diesel engine and is, has a 19,500 pound gross vehicle weight rating. So it's a very capable vehicle and that's a strong platform for installing the upfit that you see here. It's also important to make the upfit easy and well integrated. That's gonna result in a faster upfit, a higher quality upfit, and it's going to save the end user money. And the things that we do here apply to all fleets and all small businesses that use a platform like this. So let's talk about specifics. The first thing we do with our chassis cabs to make them easier to upfit and more upfitter friendly is from a mechanical standpoint. We have standard frame rail spacing, that's 34 inches wide, standard cab to axle measurements, that's the measurement from the back of the cab to the center of the rear axle, and that has to do with making the upfit centered properly. And we have standard measurements there, industry standard, so the pre-manufactured bodies will fit on there well. We also do things like keep the top of our frame rails flat and clean so nothing protrudes above. Therefore, there's no modification of the upfit required. We also do things like pass the fuel fill and in this case diesel exhaust fluid fill through the frame rail so the upfitter is free to attach to the bottom and top of the frame without having to relocate any of the fuel fill. So we've done a lot of things there that make the upfit pretty straightforward. It also comes into play with the electronics, and that's a very intensive job on an upfit like this, where there's a lot tied into the electronics of the vehicle. And we offer a VISA module, or vehicle system integration module, that allows the upfitter to tie into the vehicle in a very safe way, in a very high quality way, that's gonna result in a very reliable upfit. Our chassis cabs in general have better PTO options. This particular upfit does not use a PTO, but for those customers that need them in their application, we offer right and left hand side PTO with 4x2 and with 4x4, and that's unique in the industry to have all of those configurations available for the end use customer. So in total, this customer is looking for a capable chassis and one that's easy to upfit and friendly to upfit so that their end product is high quality, the lowest cost possible, and is very capable and reliable every day. So now we're taking a look at the inside of this rescue squad vehicle for the Los Angeles Fire Department. We have a lot of additions here for communication, radio and computer add-ons that allow them to communicate with the fire station, with the hospitals, etc. You're also going to see a lot of functional upgrades. They've added a pass-through from the cab into the ambulance area so that there's old tech communication can happen there. They've added some safety features with some additional interior lighting. And they've also added a lot of control features for some of the emergency equipment like the exterior lighting, the emergency lighting, and control of the chassis. On the left-hand side of the steering wheel, they have control for the hydraulic rear suspension. That gives them the ability to have various payloads in the back and still control the vehicle properly. And also a lot of the information systems that they have up front. The commercial customers and fleets that we talk to are doing a lot more research and looking at different segments, different platforms to meet their needs. So some traditional truck customers might switch into other segments. We're actually seeing uh, some of the other direction happen as well. We see some pickup truck customers moving into vans. We see some small car customers moving into class one vans like uh, our Ram Pro Master City. And we're seeing um, some SUV customers move around as well. The great thing is today that 
SUVs and trucks are getting better and better fuel economy, better and better reliability, uh, and they really can choose what meets their mission and meets their need to get the job done. So from a Ram perspective, we're able to offer vehicles from Ram Pro Master City through the larger Ram Pro Master, the 5500 chassis cab like we see behind me here, and a full line of pickup trucks as well. So the, the total cost of ownership uh, proposition is still a very big deal with uh, small commercial customers and fleets alike. And obviously it's made up of different components. So the traditional ones that people think of first and foremost are things like cost of acquisition, resale value, cost of operation, which is fuel economy and maintenance intervals. But there's other things that come into play as well, and we're seeing some of that in the vehicle selection. For example, this 5500 chassis cab that's behind me is a very capable chassis cab, uh, capable up to 12,000 pounds of payload. So you see some customers that are able to uh, move down a segment from a class six truck to a class five truck like this. That helps with cost of acquisition and cost of operation. It also helps with some things like licensing of the driver, which can be a factor in the total cost of operation of the vehicle. So you have to pay somebody to drive it, and it requires certain accreditation and certain skills. So we see that fleet manager doing their research, picking the right vehicle, and in a lot of cases being able to downsize because of the increased capabilities of the vehicles that are available today. Going into 2018, we see the, all the fleet managers looking at the traditional decision items that they looked at in the past, those being capability, reliability, and total cost of ownership. But we also see them looking at things like uh, business image and things like safety now. So they have to take care of their employees in general. So they want to make sure that they're buying vehicles that meet the mission need and that also are going to be reliable and a safe vehicle for them to operate. So in some cases, it's the basic safety of the structure of the vehicle, and pickup trucks tend to do pretty well from that standpoint. Um, and sometimes it's uh, other safety features, which you're gonna see more and more in our lineup and uh, in the segments in general. From a technology standpoint, we're offering upgraded infotainment already in the 2018 model year, and we will be offering a full suite of telematics options from the factory as well. So those things are very important to us as a brand, and it's something that we can bring to the marketplace in the new calendar year.